welcome everybody welcome to homestead heart i just finished getting everybody fed and it is a beautiful cloudy morning well somebody's still eating tamu's always eating he is so greedy he's always eating and grizzly's having a wonderful morning they're both having a wonderful morning chicks are good everybody's happy jackson is happy this morning but anyway today is the day our baby chicks are now one week old and they are doing well i'm going to take y'all inside and show you how they're doing okay y'all stick around Here they are, at one week old. <laughs> and so far, they are all doing pretty good. Now, as you can see, they have grown quite a bit. And um, they're much too big now to squeeze inside of that little hole like they have been doing in the past. Well, or attempting to, rather. They're much too big to squeeze in there now. All they can get in there now is their head. So you see how fast they grow after just one week. After just, well, hi there. Are you smiling for the camera? Are you smiling for the camera, pumpkin? Look at that pumpkin smelling for the camera. <laughs> so yeah, they have really grown over a week and I am really excited. Oh, they love to fly, look, look, spread their little wings. They love to do that. Just for no reason, just take off the running. <laughs> when one do it, they all do it. <laughs> Now let me back up so people can see how y'all doing this stuff. Let me back up so people can see y'all flying across the little pen. Mm -hmm, there you go. Are you racing? On your mark. Get set. Go. Sit. So yeah, they are really doing wonderful. They are growing nicely. However, we have had an issue um, over the week, and I'm going to show you what that issue um, was, hopefully no longer is, but we're going to show you right now, and we're going to even show you how to handle it, okay? Alright, so, the chicks are doing great, and... I'm going to have to change out their feeders. It's bright and early in the morning, so I'm getting ready to clean out the feeder. As you can see, they're eating much more. 
this is almost empty. So they're eating more, and I noticed that yesterday. Um, and they love to kick the little wood chips in their water bowls. <laughs> so they do a great job of being messy chicks like they are supposed to be. <laughs> So I am going to get their water uh, changed out and what I do is simple. I have two waters for, for them and um, I fill them up. Take this one out. I fill up the waterers and I just kind of let it sit in here overnight and let it just become room temperature for them so they have fresh water in the morning. They don't have to wait for me to clean out one and put in the other. And um, yeah, so let me open up the feeder. These are some messy babies, y'all. <laughs> chicks are messy. So if you're new to chicks, if you're just now thinking about getting chicks, keep in mind that they messy, y'all. And I mean messy. And that's, I just rake this stuff out. Like when they poop in it, I just rake it out in a place here in their bed. Because all they're going to do is scratch and find it anyway. And that's, that's good. They're getting their practice on when it comes to scratching for their feed. So they're doing a pretty good job of that. And I'm just going to fill them up. And look at them. Yeah, hey! Woo! Woo! So just fill the feeder all the way up. And it's just that simple. And I'm done. I'm going to wipe this feeder off here in a minute to get the poop from around the feeder. And I have to do that every day. So know that you will be cleaning up behind these babies every day. Now, let's get to what the issue has been with our little birds, okay? So, with our beautiful little baby chicks, um, we've had them for a week, and we noticed several days ago that they began to develop what is called pasty butt. And Pasty butt is where they get poo around the vent area um, on their backside. Let me show you. Let me pick up one and see if I can find one that, hmm. Let's see. Come here, baby. Oh, I know. I'm following you. Yes, I'm following you. All right. Come on. Be still. Okay, so this one is clear. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe so. But this one is clear. There's nothing around. This is the vent area here. And there's nothing around the vent. And right below the vent is their little navel, you know? So you have to be careful. So the vent area is where the chicken poops and where, if it's a hen, where she will lay her eggs. So she is good and clear. No pasty butt on her. So let's find another one. Let's check them again. I've been having to check them. Come here, big mama. I know, I know. I know. She's clear as well. No pasty butt on her. Put her down. All right, let me find a different breed. I know, 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 I know. All right. Let's look at him. Look, clear. No pasty butt. Let's try this breed. Come here, Mama. Oh, don't make me run after you. All right, so now as you can see, she has just a little bit of pasty butt starting here. I think my contractors are here. But just a little bit of pasty butt starting here. Okay, so um, as I was saying, looking at the baby birds, um, we discovered that they started developing what is called pasty butt. Mm-hmm, yeah. And um, with pasty butt, 
that's where their little poo. When they poop, I'm gonna pick up a bird for you. That's when their poop starts to develop and build up around the vent area here. And it gets really, really, I don't know if you could see, but this one is nice and clear. Where are you going? Oh, come, come on back. Uh, yeah, 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 sit down. Okay, so that's where the poo will actually start to build up around the vent of the baby chick. And, you know, instead of just falling straight down into the bed when they poop, it will literally grab a hold of the baby chick's furs and it'll collect there and it gets really, really hard and it'll clog up the vent area of the baby chick. And when that happens, it will block the baby chick's bowels and keep the baby chick from being able to poop and that can be fatal to your baby chicks. So you wanna check them um, every day for pasty butt. Now I'm gonna see if I can find one that has pasty butt, but this one is clear. Now, um, let's see. So as I've been monitoring them, um, when we realized they had developed pasty butt, we started monitoring them, you know, a couple of times a day just to make sure that they were gonna be okay, all right? Come here, pumpkin. I know, I know, you don't wanna come. I know, you don't wanna come. Okay, so this one is clear, but it had a little bit of pasty butt here. I'm gonna bring her closer. Oops. All right. I don't know if you could see, but right here is just a little poop stuck to her backside um, that came out of her vent, but her vent is not clogged. Now, the easiest way, okay, whoops. The easiest way to get rid of pasty butt, what I have here is a bottle of warm water. I heated the water up, you know, and you use just a paper towel. This ain't nothing to eat, ma'am. And I moistened the paper towel really, really good. And, hold on, make sure my hands are nice and warm. <laughs> I know, I just picked you up and you're not happy that I'm coming back for you, are you? Okay, so you just moisten the paper towel with water and you just rub gently. I don't know if you could see that, but you're just going to rub gently to kind of dampen on the, around the feathers or the fur, I'll say, no feathers, but around the fur because what you want to do is just loosen it so that it comes off. You don't want to pull because you don't want to tear this baby bird. You don't want to pull. You want to gently massage. And this does take some time too. And I just keep adding. And you want to use warm water. And so you just keep adding. Don't let nobody drink out that bottle, by the way. <laughs> But you want to just keep adding warm water and you want it to be warm because you don't want the birds to get cold. So let the water be warm and you just continue to rub it across the fur. I know, I know you don't like it. What causes pasty butt can be a few different things, but one for sure is that you know, a change in temperature, you know, like if the chicks are being transported from the post office, if they get too cold, that can cause pasty butt. If they get too warm, uh, that can cause pasty butt. And what I discovered is that for us, I realized maybe they were too warm. And so maybe you, if you haven't noticed already, I've widened the, I've given them more space here in the brooder so that if they get too warm in this area, 
they can always move to that area over there and cool down. And I do believe that this is the reason why <clears throat> their pasty butt is just about gone and haven't had another problem, um, really not like what I saw a few days ago. A few days ago, it just came out of nowhere, right? So I figured they were getting a little bit too warm. I'm not going to bother y'all. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> They're getting used to flapping their little wings. <clears throat> so one of the other things that I'm going to also do to kind of help, um, help them along the way is I'm going to mix in a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar into about a gallon of water. And I'm going to give that to them on a regular basis the apple cider vinegar I just want to make sure that our birds are functioning well apple cider vinegar has such great health benefits not just for you as a person but for your animals as well so I'm going to be giving them a little bit of apple cider uh, vinegar our chicks are not medicated they did not come medicated I don't do medicated birds so they're not medicated they're very very happy and healthy hi pumpkin So taking care of the pasty butt early on, that is, um, that is very, very important to the health of your chicks. If you discover your chicks are getting pasty butt, you want to get on top of that like ASAP because chicks poop all day and it only takes a short amount of time for that poop to really build up and stick to itself every single time they poop so you can go from having a little speck right now to later on today you can have a, a, a nice clump and ball that's hard as a rock so you want to check them regularly if you are discovering that they're developing pasty but and that's the easiest way to clean them is just use a paper towel or a cloth and some warm water not cold warm water and just gently Gently rub that area until it falls off, okay? And that'll take care of pasty, but it's not hard. It's not hard. It's, it can be time consuming if you got a lot of, lot of birds. It can be time consuming, but <laughs> it's not hard to do. All you need, like I said, paper towel, warm water, and lots of patience, and you can make it happen. So they're all huddled over there in a bunch because they think I'm going to pick them up and be wiping their butts again like I did. <laughs> I'm not going to bother y'all. It's all good. Y'all are doing good now. Look at them all bunched up over there. She's cleaning our butts again. She's cleaning our butts again. <laughs> Run for your butts. So. <laughs> but they're, they're looking pretty good. I mean, we cleaned a lot of poop. The other day and I mean it was a lot of it so we did that we want to make sure our birds are healthy so that's it for today you all watching Homestead Heart. 
Peace and blessings to you all. Thank you so much to our new subscribers, our existing subscribers, and everyone who has shared some amazing comments, being very helpful to us in our channel. We really, really appreciate you very, very much. Thank you all so much for your support again and for watching Homestead Heart. We'll see you next time.